Well, hello everybody. This is Reagan Schrock from SkySail Productions, and today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to automatically synchronize audio inside Adobe Premiere CS6. Now, for those of you who have CS6, I'm sure you're very familiar with this problem. Um, in there is no option inside of uh, CS6 to synchronize audio automatically, so you have to go through and do it manually based on the waveform, which you can do, but it is very time consuming. If you have uh, Final Cut or Adobe CC, uh, that isn't a problem. You can do that inside that program and it'll synchronize it just fine. Uh, CS6, you cannot. So, this is a bit of a problem. Uh, right here is a uh, project we did about a year ago. We had three cameras inside a classroom setting. So here's our teacher and three cameras. Um, there's the different angles. He was wearing a lapel mic, which is right down here, its own separate audio track. And here is the audio from the cameras. Obviously this is all very out of sync and we need to get that all aligned. Now to do that manually would take a very long time, several hours, and uh, probably would not go too well. It would be hard to get it right. Um, and so forth. So uh, we did a little research and the best option as far as synchronizing audio is you have to get a plug-in to do that um, which actually turns out to be not nearly as big a deal as I thought it would be. Um, the best one we found is from Red Giant Softwares uh, called Pluralize. Uh, it's a plug-in for Adobe CS6. Now it is $200 but definitely definitely worth every penny. It will save you quite a bit of time. So we'll just go over real briefly how to use that. It's installed as a third party extension so you go into Windows, Extensions, and here it is, Pluralize. Click on that. It will want me to save the project and then I'll push Continue. Okay so here it is. It has opened my entire project up inside its own software. We've now left Premiere. Now what it's going to have to do is analyze every single frame of footage and all of the audio. So here's my audio down here. And that's going to take a, a fair amount of time, especially depending on what system you have. Um, if you're running uh, some slower hard drives or not the latest i7 processors or you don't have you know a lot of RAM. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll just skip that part of the video and come back when it's finished. Okay, so here we are with our uh, analyzed footage. Here's my lapel mic uh, track, and here's the three audio tracks from the cameras, and here's the video feed if you want to see the video feed from those as well. Uh, Pluralize is very easy to use. There isn't a lot of uh, bells and whistles, but it works extremely well. It analyzed uh, all of that footage in about five minutes. It's uh, three three tracks of full HD footage, each about an hour and a half long. So that's uh, that's not bad, um, very efficient. To synchronize it, simply go to the Synchronize tab up here, and there's a couple of settings we might want to mess with a little bit. Level audio, I prefer it not to make all the audio on my clips level. I like to keep them as they were originally, so you can uncheck that if you prefer. And then tell it to try to sync this very hard. Um, that's especially helpful if your audio quality is not very high, especially if it was filmed outside, say, or, or uh, windy or something like that. Uh, it's kind of muffled and it'll have a harder time syncing it, synchronizing it. So when you check that right there, um, it'll take a little longer, but it will probably get you better results in the end. So once I have that set, I simply hit the Synchronize tab here and I watch the magic happen. And there we go, it is all fully synced. Every camera angle is perfectly aligned. The uh, independent audio track here is perfectly aligned with all the camera audio. And it did all of that in under 10 seconds. Very impressive. Uh, so I'm done here. All I do is push export that timeline. It sends it back into Premiere. And right here it is, it creates its own folder so you don't get it confused with everything else. Now it makes two projects, uh, one with just the synchronized audio and all the camera audio. So open that up real quick. So here we are, it creates two tracks because this is stereo, not mono. And so here we go, that's not quite what I'm looking for so I can click on this. And in this case, it basically deleted all of the camera audio 
and replaced it with the audio from the mic, which is exactly what I'm looking for in this case. Um, and so what I would what I would do is uh, just delete those two sequences, and this would be the sequence I would finish my project off with. Um, so that right there saved me about I don't know a good half day's worth of work instead of doing it manually. Uh, I could just spend just a few minutes using Pluralize and I'm done. Uh, so I highly recommend it to all of you. Um, go to redgiant.com. There really isn't another way to synchronize audio inside CS6. So if you don't feel like spending the $200 for it, you really have to either switch to Final Cut Pro or uh, Premiere CC. Um, but if you currently own CS6, then you're pretty much stuck having to buy a third-party extension such as Pluralize. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope it was helpful and um, make sure and check back later and comment below. Tell us what you thought. Uh, if you liked what you saw, if you want have any questions, want to see more, uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. I'm Regan Schrock from SkySail Productions.